even though it's five in the morning, I thought, why not make a video? Yesterday, I started to read a chapter book to you guys. And I'm going to have to make a video every day about reading this and other videos, too. Other videos, too. So, I felt like right now would be a good time. And go check out my new invasion video because my new invasion video is pretty cool. It's called Invasion of the Seed Pack. It's on this channel. It's 25 minutes and 31 seconds long. All right. We're going to get started with this. I might read a... I might read another Magic Tree House. Instead, when I, when I finish this, I might write another, ma I'll read another Magic Tree House to you guys instead of another book. Or maybe I'll pick another book. But right now we're reading this Vikings at Sunrise. I'm reading it to you. Okay. The writing from their trip to the Roman town of Pompeii. Pompeii. That looks like Latin, he said. Very good, said Morgan. It is Latin, but I thought they spoke Latin in ancient Rome, said Annie. Aren't we going to Ireland? You are, said Morgan, but during the dark ages in Europe, educated people wrote in Latin. The dark ages, said Jack. Yes, said Morgan. The time at the fall of the Roman Empire. Why is it called dark, said Jack. It was, a dif it was a difficult time, said Morgan. People had to work very, very hard just, just to feed and clothe themselves. There was not a lot of time for playing, learning, or making art and music. Morgan pulled a book from her robe. Morgan pulled the book from her rope. You research, he said, handing it to Annie. The title read, Ireland Long Ago. Remember, said Morgan. Your research book will guide you, but in your darkest hour, only the ancient story can save us. Jack and, Jack and Annie said together, and remember this, said Morgan. It must be your darkest hour when there is no hope left. If you ask for help too soon, it will not come. And we have to find the story first, said Annie. That is true, said Morgan. Do you have your secret library cards, Jack and Annie? Do you have your... Secret library cards, Jack and Annie. Jack and Annie nodded. Show them to the wisest person you meet, said Morgan. I think we'll read three more pages. Yeah, let's read that. Don't wor don't worry, said Annie. I think we're ready now. Annie pointed at the cover of the Ireland book. I wish we could go there, she said. She gave Morgan a little wave. See you soon. Good luck, said Morgan. The wind started to blow, the tree house started to spin. It spun faster and faster, then everything was still, absolutely still. It's a shorty. That book didn't say that. I actually just farted. Anyways, um, chapter two, the steep hill climb. Jack opened his eyes. The light was the li the light was still gray, but the air was even damper and colder than in F Frog Creek. Wow, I'm in a long dress, said Annie. It's scratchy. 
Hey, I've got a little purse on my belt. It has my library card in it. Jack looked down at his own clothes. He was wearing a shirt and trousers made of heavy wool. He also wore leather slippers. And in place of his backpack was a leather bag. Wow, said Annie, looking out the w Wow, said Annie, looking out the window. This really looks like the dark ages. Jack looked out too. He couldn't see anything through the mist. It's just because the sun's not up yet, he said. It's just because the sun's not up yet, he said. I better check the, the book, Annie. I better check the book. Annie handed the Ireland book to Jack. He opened it and read aloud. Now I'm going to read what it said in the book of Thurio. The early Middle Ages were once known as the Dark Ages because learning, culture, reading vanished. Learning and culture nearly vanished. Throughout, throughout Europe, scholars today praise the brave Irish monks who helped keep Western civilization alive. What, and then now I'm reading, and now I'm reading this book. Only this was what was inside the Book of Therese. Now, now no more of the Book of Therese. What, what do civilization and monks mean, asked Annie. I don't know what monks mean, maybe it's a different animal, but I know what civilization means. I'll read one more page. I think civilization is when people have books and art and good manners, said Jack. Monks are religious people who spend their time praying and reading and helping people. Well, I don't see any civilization or monks out there, said Annie, pointing at the mist. Jack pulled out his notebook. He wrote, this is what he wrote, brave monks in Ireland. Now, now we're back to normal book, not what he wrote. Then he looked at Annie. If we find civilization, I think we'll find the lost story, he said. Let's go, said Annie. She lifted her skirt and climbed out the window. I think I'm going to pause the book right here on page 13. We're reading a lot. We're going to get through this quickly, I think. I think we will. I'm really tired. I just woke up. Five a.m. We got up five twenty-five. That's early. I have a whole collection of Magic Tree House. I have one through five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I have. 13, but then I, and the, but then I don't have 6 through 12, but then I do have 13 through 20. And this one that we're reading together is Magic Treehouse number 15. I'm really liking reading this book. I feel like we'll get through it in about a week, or maybe even a couple, maybe even like three more days if we... If I make enough videos or if I read enough in one video. Because I don't want to make just be only making videos about this. Because I'm going to make other videos. I will. But this delays me on that. I really like reading books. I'm, I'm a reader. I, I, I really like doing that. So. 
I'm gonna be reading this to you guys a lot, so that delays me in making other videos, but I will make other videos sometimes. Wow. Anyways, bye-bye.